Looking for a way to use ActiveCampaign to hyper-personalize your marketing efforts for higher engagement, more conversions, and increased revenue? In this video, I'll show you how to use personalization tags in ActiveCampaign to pull off exactly that, plus why personalization isn't just a nice to have for your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your base businesses. Let's check it out. So before we get started, let's talk about why you need to personalize your marketing and why it's not just a nice to have for your business. It should not be considered an add on or something that you leave until later. It should really be given priority. Personalization in marketing is important because according to a study, these efforts see up to a $20 return for every $1 invested. Okay. And you can also think of the ask method. This was pioneered by Ryan Levesque. And this allows you to feed back the information that a prospect gives you when they're filling out a form or answering a quiz. We can store that in a custom field, use it as a personalization tag in Active Campaign. Then we can feed their own words, their own choices back to them in your follow up emails, the landing pages, offer recommendations, et cetera. So it's very important for your bottom line and for the experience that your user will have. If you want higher conversions, higher engagement, increased revenue, you're going to want to personalize your marketing and personalization tags and active campaign are one of the best ways to go about doing that. So let's get into what personalization tags actually are. So in active campaign, you actually have a set of default or standard personalization tags. The name can be a bit misleading because we're actually dealing with custom fields. So these are personalization tags. Uh, that exist with system fields or custom fields that are already present for all of your contacts in Active Campaign. And I'll jump in uh, and show you that in just one second in Active Campaign, but it's also possible to create your own personalization tags for every custom field that you create for contacts. So let's take a look. If I go into Active Campaign, you'll notice the W. This is our rebranded white labeled version of Active Campaign, Wild Mail. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. Now, if I go into lists and go to manage fields. I'm going to see all of the different custom fields. And every time you create a custom field or for the standard fields that I mentioned, there's a personalization tag over here. And the way that this works is every time you use this in a landing page, a form, an email, percent sign, the name of the field, percent sign, it's going to be populated by the value that is stored in that field for that specific contact. So for example, we have this here, first name, the contact who receives an email is not going to see percentage, first name, percentage, they're going to see their name reflected in the email. Okay, so the ones that you see here at the top, first name, last name, email, phone, account, job title, they don't have the checkbox. These are the standard or the default uh, custom fields that have the standard personalization tags. They can't be edited. They, you know, they come standard with uh, the, the platform, but all of the rest are ones that we have created ourselves for our marketing efforts and they can be edited, bulk edited, etc. And then you can even adjust the personalization tag for the custom field. So if I click the pencil over here to the right, it says personalization tag and I can adjust it here. You'll notice an underscore indicates a space in the custom field name. So we actually have business type as this custom field, but the personalization tag is what products services do you offer? Okay. So that we know on our end, what it, what it signifies, and it's going to be populated with whatever value that contact filled in, in a form and a quiz, etc. To be honest, I'm not sure why they use personalization tag when it's really pulling information from your custom fields, but that's active campaigns terms. So we'll go with it in order to set this up in active campaign. As I mentioned, you have the standard personalization tags. Those are already present when you create an account or you can create your own custom fields that will have their own personalization tags. So again, if I'm here in manage fields and I click add a field, I can then create a field name here, choose which group it goes into, choose the field type and click add. And once I do that again, you can adjust them and adjust the personalization tag that matches that custom field here. Now, once you've created the custom fields and updated the personalization tags, if you'd like, I'll show you how to use them in an email campaign, for example. So we'll go into active campaign. We'll go to campaigns and I've already created a test campaign to show you. 
Obviously, you'd set up your uh, email settings and you can check out our videos at the end of this tutorial. We'll have a playlist for marketing automation that'll explain how to best set up your emails and use the email designer. But first, if you're designing your email, you'll notice here percent sign, first name percent sign. And whenever I want to use the personalization tags that I've created or the standard personalization tags, I can click into the message into the text editor. And up here, you'll see personalize. So if I delete this here, you can type it yourself. Or you can just grab it using this button here. And it'll give you all the different custom fields that you created and you can pull that in. So let's just say, for example, uh, feedback. Now I'm pulling in that personalization tag. And when the contact receives this email, they will see whatever value they have in their account stored in that custom field in the copy for this message. So now moving on to choosing the subject, you can also use personalization tags in the subject line and we can do that here and you can type it in on your own again, or you can choose it from over here. This little person, the silhouette, personalize the subject name insert field. And again, you can search for or choose the field that you want to enter. You can see this personalization tag example here in the subject and then here in the first line as well. So those are two ways you could do this as well in landing pages and in forms. It's going to be the same way you're going to select or type in manually the personalization tag that you want to use. So you can show the value that's stored in that field when a contact visits your, your page, your form, uh, or receives a message or email. Now, super quickly, I want to go over how you can modify these personalization tags to ensure that, for example, a first name that someone gives you is capitalized and the rest of the letters are not. Sometimes we receive contacts, uh, they type in their first name entirely in caps or entirely in lowercase. And by using these modifications, you'll be able to make sure that they still receive their name in an email in the copy in the way that they should with a capital first letter and lowercase for the rest. It makes it a bit more personalized. So let's take a look at how to modify these personalization tags now. I'll go through this very quickly and there are a few that you can use and they come after the pipe symbol. So it kind of looks like an L, it's a bit longer. Uh, you can find it to typically to the right of your keyboard with the forward slash. So using a shift and then this forward slash. And this would be an example of how to update the first name personalization tag so that the first letter is converted to uppercase. Now you have a, a list of modifiers here. Upper is going to convert the entire tag to all uppercase letters. Upper first is going to convert the first letter to uppercase. You might think that you would use that one to make sure that a first name is going to be capitalized, but I'll show you, we actually use title case instead. This will capitalize the first letter of every word. So if someone has two names in their first name, etc. Uh, with upper first, it would just convert the first letter. Whereas in this case, it's going to capitalize the first letter of each word and then force the other letters to be lowercase, which would ensure that the M and the J of a name like Mary Jane would be capitalized and the rest of the letters would not. We also have upper words, which capitalizes the first letter of every word. And this does not necessarily force the other letters to be lowercase. It'll just make sure that the first letter of every word is capitalized. We have lower, which will convert entire tags to lowercase letters. Lower first changes the first letter of the text to lowercase and then lower words, which will change the first letter of every word to lowercase. Now remember, this is what needs to follow the pipe symbol in order to modify that personalization tag. Now that you know how to create and use personalization tags in ActiveCampaign, I just want to leave you with a few quick notes about this feature. So. ActiveCampaign offers these tags for contact fields on all plan tiers and for deal fields on plus professional and enterprise tiers. If you have any questions about whether the light or plus and above is right for you, you can check out this video we did to show you the differences between the plans. Feel free to drop a comment below as well if you have any questions about which one might be right for you. Also, contact field personalization tags can be used to insert the dynamic content into deal titles, again, only on plus professional and enterprise tiers. And then deal field personalization tags can be used to insert that dynamic content into campaigns, automation emails, and one-to-one -one emails if you have the deals sales CRM on a plus plan or above. So again, any questions on setting up personalization tags, 
anything we covered today or which plan might be right for you, just drop them in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you out with that. And one last note, personalization tags are one of many great ways that you can personalize your marketing efforts for your audience and for your contacts and leads. So another great way to do that is through frequency selectors. We have a video on that here. If you're not sure what that is, check it out. It'll teach you another great way to allow your contacts and your leads to be in control of their emails in a two-way interactive manner to engage with your content and receive emails when they would like, which helps increase engagement, build trust, build that relationship with your leads, and ultimately leads to higher conversions and increased revenue for you and your brand. Now, before we wrap up this video, I said I'd talk more about Wild Mail. And at Wild Mail, we are one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world. At its core, Wild Mail is still just Active Campaign, so nothing changes with the pricing your login, your password, your email campaigns, your automations, your API integrations, nothing changes. It all stays the same. It's just active campaign. We inherit your next billing cycle, so you won't be charged anything differently from us. We'll just take over the billing, and then that allows us to stack additional benefits for free on top, especially for Europe-based businesses. So the first is premium support. It's localized premium support based in Europe. We've got multiple languages that we cover, so Spanish, English, French, German, Romanian, okay? We've got a response time under an hour and we're leveraging years of experience as an agency in the past to help you get the most out of this software today. We also have a library of free trainings that you can use for your business. And finally, we have Wild Metrics. Now, Wild Metrics is our no-code API-based tracking app for your customer journeys in Active Campaign. This allows you to track revenue by tags, revenue by automation, revenue by email campaigns. You can build out beautiful dashboards to help you make sense of the data, and then you can optimize based on that to hit your next revenue goal. And you'll get a free account for that as well when you work with Wild Mail. Now, if you've never used Active Campaign or you've never used Wild Mail before, you'll see a link below for a free 14-day trial. And if you have used Active Campaign, if you're a current user, you can move your account. It's a simple process takes about five or 10 minutes. There's no migration. Remember, we're just moving your building to ourselves very quick, very easy. And then you'll be able to get those additional free benefits that are stacked on top to help make Active Campaign even better. So if you have any questions about how Wild Mail works, drop them in the comments below. Happy to answer those for you. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to our channel. We've got an entire playlist and more videos coming for marketing automation using Active Campaign. Remember to hit like if you got value from this tutorial, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.